Hey YouTube, so I'm going to shine here another video. In today's video, we're doing a review on The Walking Dead Season 10, Episode 13, What We Become. So this is a really good episode. I, lo I love the ending. Like, the first part, the beginning with, like, Virgil and, um, and, like, the hallucinations wasn't best. I mean, it wasn't bad at all, but, like, it wasn't the best. But, like, just, like, the stuff with Rick and everything, and that was just, that was amazing. And, like, that, that group. Um, anyway... So, we find out that Virgil's family's dead and that he lied. Um, then, you know, he he's, he also said that he didn't lie about the weapons, but we also never find the weapons, because Virgil apparently doesn't get the weapons, though, so... Uh, even though she goes with them, uh, or he goes with her uh, on the naval ship. Anyway, um, then we realize, like, he's kind of, like, crazy, um... And she, like, he, like, obviously locks Michonne up, and then Michonne sees, or, um, she talks to, like, some new people, um, which I guess their names are, uh, Lucy, Lucy Celeste, and, and, uh, there's another person. I guess it, they're unnamed or something, but the island's apparently called Bloodsworth Island. Um, and it's kind of cool how it shows Andrea, like, archive footage with Andrea, um, but then they show it again with the hallucinations, which was really weird, but also, like, Andrea, Andrea's body looks all burned when Michonne goes to loot it, and apparently Andrea isn't a zombie, because, like, normally, the zombies don't eat that much, like, as much as they ate on Andrea, because, like, I was just watch re-watching, um, The Walking Dead, uh, season two and season three, I'm on season four now, I know it's kind of cool, though, because I was re-watching season three. Uh, with Andrew and everything, um, and then this, and then we see this, but anyway, I was rewatching that, and the season four, when, like, the, when, the, like, the sickness goes around, and the zombies, like, uh, where, where Patrick turns into a zombie, because he dies, and then he eats some few people, like, Pat, the first victim that Patrick had, he only, like, ate a bit into his stomach, and then left him alone, basically, that's, that's it, um, and maybe ate, like, one of his lungs, or something. he was holding something, I don't really know what he was holding, kind of looked like a heart, but he didn't grab at the heart area, so he only ate into that man's stomach. He didn't eat anything else. But on Andrew's body, like, everything was gone. And you'd think she'd still be a zombie because it's not like... I don't think they ate her brain or anything, but... Yeah. And then it kind of looked like she was burned a bit, so... Um, but anyway, so... It's basically like a what if. Like, what if Michonne didn't go with Andrea? So what if Michonne let Andrea die? Which, I don't know if she would die because she's, like, a pretty good survivor. Um, it's, and it felt a little weird with Michonne, like, you know, kind of being weak and stuff when Negan found her, because she's, like, a really strong-willed survivor anyway, too. Um, and then she apparently somehow becomes the person with the orange backpack that, uh, I guess maybe she would kill the guy with the orange backpack or find him dead some other way. Um, and then she would take the orange backpack, and then, you know, they would leave him, because in the actual episode, it was Michonne, Carl, and, and Rick in the, in the car that leave the guy with the orange backpack, and then they find him dead. Uh, and that's, like, the episode where Carl, like, kind of grows fond of Michonne, and I'm pretty sure that's, that's, the episode's called Clear, which also reminds me, Virgil really reminded me of Morgan, and he's, like, Island's not cure, uh, clear, and, and she's like, yeah, uh, no SHIT, uh, the island's not clear, um, so it kind of reminded me of Morgan, um, then there was Michonne, you know, she, she gets, uh, she finds Negan, she becomes a savior, uh, which was kind of cool. Then Laura dies in her sleep when everyone's attacking. Then we see Heath and Glenn. So I wonder, did they bring back Corey Hawkins for this episode? Or was this some other archive footage that they just never put? Uh, and, ep and that they never had? So if they brought Corey Hawkins, assuming that Michonne goes to the movie, maybe he'll be in the movies. Like, this is more proof that he'll be in the movies. Because there's already theories like that Heath might be in the films. Because remember, he was taken by the CRM. Uh, which I, we do have confirmation of what it stands for. It stands for like something about protecting people or something like that. I don't really know. Community uh, redemption. I don't know. Uh, so, something like that. And also the world beyond got pushed back because of the, the virus and everything. Um, but anyway, so yeah, he might be in the movies. This might be more confirmation that he'll be in the movies. And then so yeah, anyway, she kills Glenn and, and, uh, and Heath, which then Glenn isn't at the lineup. And then she becomes the person killing uh, uh, whoever whoever she decides to kill. But apparently it's herself, which is kind of like symbolic, I guess. But like in the ep it would actually if it actually happened, it obviously wouldn't be herself. Um, so 
Yeah, and then she kind of, like, you know, she's all good, I guess. And I guess it was the stuff with Sadiq, too. And Because, yeah, at the very beginning, in the credits, it, it said Avi Nash. I was like, Avi Nash, well, he's dead. Why would he be in the credits? And then, you know, because he was hallucination kind of in this episode. Um, he's like, oh, you let me die. Um, you let us down. And she's like, you're family. And it's like, yeah, we let family die. Um, anyway, then, like, you know, there was the whole fight with, uh, with uh, Virgil. They get freed. They find Virgil. They don't kill Virgil. They imprison him. Uh, she, Virgil leads Michonne to the boat. Uh, Michonne finds the, or, or like before the boat, Michonne find, finds the boots, Rick's boots, which is really weird. And like just also like the drawing of Michonne and Judith and like those Asian letters or symbols, whatever they are. Uh, I wonder what that means. And, and then it says Rick, like lowercase. I don't know if, if he's the one that drew that. Um, but like then again, like how would someone else know what Michonne and Judith look like? So it must have been him, but why would he write his own name? Uh, and then those Asian letters. So I don't, I don't know. Uh, maybe that has something to do with the group that took him. Um, but anyway, it's a, it's a little weird, though, because we saw Rick get taken by the helicopter. It's not like he showed, washed up on shore and or on, on Bloodsworth Island. Um, so maybe they took him to Bloodsworth Island, or they just took his boots. And then, I don't know. It's it's really weird. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so she finds all that stuff there, and, she's, and then she, like, talks to Judith, and it's like, hey, you know, he might be alive. Um... I wish she told Judith about, like, you know, I found boots and I found a picture of you and I. I wish I wish she told him. But, oh, yeah, because Rick doesn't know about RJ Jr. Um, so I, I was like, I guess he doesn't care about RJ, but she, he doesn't know about that, right? About him. Um, so, yeah, then basically Michonne ditches that group of three, or the group of three ditches her. Um, I don't really know. Virgil stays on the island. They don't kill him uh, when they leave. And then we find, like, a big group of people. Uh, well, first Michonne, like, sees two people, and then she remembers how, you know, Rick trusted, uh, her, or helped her, Rick, Rick and Carl, um, so then she goes, helps them, and then we find a really big group of people, so I saw a theory that it's, like, maybe it's Morgan and Alicia, and, like, they, it just took them a really long, long time to get to Alexandria, because they have a big group, which, like, is cool, but honestly, I don't know if I like it, because then that means I would have to say, oh, yeah, season four and five is canon, and six when it happens, uh, which uh, right now I'm kind of saying like no, it's not canon, it, it's just fan fiction. Um, but then you know if it crosses over again, then I'm gonna have to say it's canon, which kind of sucks because you know it's terrible. But in this episode, man, this is this this was the ending was really good. And this group, I don't know who they are, the CRM. They had horses that kind of also reminded me of the group from Fear with like horses, Ginny's group, whatever. Um, I don't know though. Hope you guys enjoy. Subscribe, like, for more of episode. Maybe I'll do some theory videos or whatever if people have theories and talk about my opinions on them. But yeah, peace out.